and Karuna Satori ASMR and I am here to tell you that us as a family have reached 50,000 subscribers and I am just so freaking grateful. <laughs> like you guys have no idea how much you have touched my life and how much I cling to you guys every single day of my life. You have no idea that my entire life revolves around my kids and you guys. You guys are the family that I've never had, so we're going to be talking a little bit about that today. I'm going to light a candle. It's like, what do you call that, a vigil when you celebrate? I think that's celebrating somebody's death, but don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. We're celebrating how far you and I have come. Yes, you watching this. I sound so F-U-C-K-I-N-G crazy. I said I wouldn't swear, or I'm working on my swearing right now. So, this candle's actually a really cheap candle from uh, Walmart, but it smells delicious. Hold on. Smell. It is Macintosh apple. Well, actually, it's fresh or and it's just a ripoff name for the um, Yankee Candle version, which is Macintosh Apple, so whatever. Either way, we're both getting cancer from, you know, doing these whole chemical candle things anyway. You get what you pay for. So, I'm gonna set this over here. I'm also going to be I'm stumbling over my words because I woke up this morning and I was, I was truly, like there's, there's, you know what I mean? Like there's no words, it's like you're grateful, but at the same time it's like, what do you say and how do you thank anybody for this? My Amazon, Amazon, do you hear me? My Amazon children's wish list. That's going to be a whole separate video and I am so beyond thankful for the support that you guys have given me. Um, especially over the little, I've gotten a few negative comments about that wish list, but it hasn't been anything dramatic, but the amount of support from you guys at the fact that you understand where I was coming from with that just means so, I want to say fuck, <laughs> freaking much, so. That desperately needs dripped. The Hype Collection in Blue Slushy. Don't worry, there's a point to this video. I'm going to be giving you guys some visual and sound triggers here in a moment. You guys seem to like when I do that. It has been 18 days today that I've quit smoking. Don't take my word on that. I mean, I'm vaping, but, you know, there's only nicotine in this. There's no chemicals regarding, um, you know, like carcinogens and carbon monoxide and things like that. So I'm very proud of that. And I'm very proud of you guys. Oh, I sound so freaking cheesy. It's, it's disgusting. But, I mean, whatever. <laughs> One more time, and then we'll get into the video. Okay, so, as you guys can see behind me, I have a little surprise. Some YouTubers, but not many, have used this in their videos, and they were so expensive online, I've actually looked into these things before. So let me introduce. What I'm going to be triggering you guys with today and talking to you guys about just being thankful and how far we've come. <laughs> it's like attacking me. These pillows go for, I believe, my legs. 
these pillows go for, I believe, $40, $50 online. And they call them mermaid pillows. I happened to come across one last night at Walmart. And you would not believe my freaking face when I came across this thing, man. I have been looking for some, for one that's cheap, and I could not find one anywhere. And here it is. So. I got the gold and silver, as you can tell. And I was just so ecstatic. This, like, I can never really, I've never been able to give myself tingle, 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 tingles. But when I do this, it gives me the chills. Like, I love this sound so much. I'm, like, giving myself ASMR. There was only one ASM artist that I've ever spoken to who said that she gets ASMR from her own videos, and that is Olivia Gisper. She was actually my first ASM artist besides Minx Laura that I ever watched and I don't really watch Olivia anymore not because of her or anything just because I don't get tingles from her videos which is completely normal so here's some sounds for you guys and then I'll start talking more I mean despise scratching fabric. I dislike it so 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 much. interesting. This, or this sequin pillow. Um, Victor used to work on screen printing, and he would make these, and they would probably retail in his shop to make. It would probably only cost about a dollar fifty to make this entire pillow, and they sell them for ten dollars. And then you look at places like real how much corporate corporations just want to make money. Okay, so I'm just going to be playing with this while I talk to you guys a little bit. I want to tell you a really quick backstory about my life. So, and where I'm going with this. doing this so much in my daily life, you guys. It is ridiculous. Okay. Put that down for a moment. Fluff it up. <laughs> I'm so happy with this stupid thing. Oh my god, you guys. Uh-oh, one's broken. Let me fix it. Okay, fix it. Oh, there's another one. I'll have to fix that one later, too. Okay, so. Okay, growing up, I think I explain this in most of my videos, but I'm going to make this short and sweet as I can with our sweet little Macintosh apples. Growing up, 
up, we were very poor. My mother, my father, and my brother. My dad, he grew up to be a drug and alcohol counselor, which is interesting as I am a recovering drug addict. My father went to jail on my first birthday for <laughs> transferring weed into a prison. And he obviously got that charge dropped because he, um, what was it? Now, don't quote me on the story, but he was transferring weed to some of the inmates. And that's a federal offense. So he did go to jail for a while, and I, he wasn't there for my first birthday. And I actually hated my father growing up. We were very poor. My mother worked at a ball pit in the mall. And this was whenever I was very, very little. I can remember memories. I actually believe I can remember when I was born, but anyway, my mom used to push us around in a doll, dolly stroller, like one of those, like meant for dolls. It was a, for a baby doll. She got it cheaper because it was for a baby doll. It was a toy stroller. That's how she would push us around. My father, um, after he got out of jail, he actually went to school to be a drug and alcohol counselor and ended up running two rehabs in his life. His legacy will forever live on. He's made mistakes in his life. He actually used to do cocaine with Hulk Hogan, believe it or not. I know that sounds so freaking crazy, but just, I'm serious. I have pictures, baby pictures. I'll have to get out of Hulk Hogan holding me when I was a little girl. So, moving on. My mom came into some money um, whenever, well, she started working at a great job, which was the manager of a dentist office, a very popular one where I live, and she worked hard every day, whatever. So we always grew up very humble. We didn't have much at all. Now, my mother divorced my father whenever. My brother lived with my father, and I lived with my mom. So, things got a little bit tough whenever I moved away with my mom, which I literally moved like a street away from where my dad lived. Like, how stupid is that? Like, my mom bought a house, like, literally a street over from where my dad was living. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so, my mom changed after that, and this is why I always tell you guys that my mother's a very emotionally abusive human being. She started drinking a lot, which she kind of left me, and since she was making a lot of money, she would leave me like $20 a day allowance and things like that, so my teenage years were taken care of, but at the same time, I didn't care about money. I dropped out of high school when, and because I'll explain, but my mother she wouldn't really pay attention to me, so I fell back on my studies. I worried about what other people thought all the time, and I had no plans for my future. I never found anything all my life that I thought I was good at. I thought I could sing. I couldn't sing. I thought I could draw. I can't draw anything. I thought I could write. I'm very good at writing, like, English essays and things like that, but... So, moving on. Fast forward to me dropping out of high school. Um, I failed 8th grade once and then failed 10th grade twice, so I just dropped out. I cared nothing about my studies at all. Um, I started doing drugs. I started out, I believe I've explained this in my other videos, um, I was doing psychedelics before I've ever tried like a pill or anything like that. So. I started out doing mushrooms and smoking weed and drinking a lot and my mom still wasn't there and at the same time I don't blame her. Everybody has your own problems. My mom would ask me what my plans for the future were and so would my dad. And I told them that I'm not good at anything. I started getting involved with the very, very, very wrong people doing, um, like Percocet and things like that, and then that, that escalated to Oxycontin, and then that escalated to Opanas and Fentanyl and Roxycontin. I did 
pills for about four years, I believe. And then after that, I got into the methadone clinic and it saved my life. When I was in the clinic, I got pregnant, or I met Victor. I was dating somebody before that for five years, but it wasn't working out, so I met Victor at the clinic. We got married right away, and I got pregnant right away. I was always told by the doctors, because my uterus is set back, if that makes any sense, it's tilted. So, I'm not being gross, but when a man ejaculates inside me, the semen can't make its way up to the egg. But when I met Victor, I guess that happened, and I was pregnant. I was on methadone. When I say my kids have been through a lot, I'll get into it one day, but when my son was born, he was born on methadone. For the rest of my life, that will forever lay on my conscience, and I know that my life seems so hard, but you guys know that I don't ask for pity. I just ask for you guys to understand and take note and understand that. Just don't make mistakes and take my life as an example for your success. I mean that. So my son was born addicted to methadone. I didn't get to hold him. He was taken straight to the NICU and treated for withdrawals. Now methadone is a life-saving drug, it is. But unfortunately for a child who has never had any type of drug inside him or her, um, this can happen with anything smoking, um, even just regular Zoloft, Xanax, that people are prescribed. Your child will be born with it in their system, and my son was, went through a lot at the hospital to get off of that, as well as my daughter. My daughter wasn't so bad on methadone, she actually came off of it fairly quickly without any withdrawals at all. But it was my son who really went through it, so... I was not a very good mother at first. I had postpartum depression to the point I wouldn't eat, and my kids have just been through so much, you know? It took me a year and a half, two years, before I started realizing that I need to be a better person and a better mother, but I never had anything I was good at, and I had no plans for my future. My kids, what am I going to do for my kids, you know? So, one day... I started making videos about a man named G for T. <laughs> he was on Tosh.0 for getting pepper sprayed in his eyes. G for T, I did not like at all, and I made videos targeting, targeting him because I was a piece of crap, and I wanted to make everybody else feel as bad as myself. I never had any compassion. I was never humble regarding other people. Um, my mom always taught me to walk a mile in other people's shoes, but that can mean shit whenever you're all about yourself. So, one day I came across what's known as ASMR, and I thought, I'm going to make some videos. Screw G for T, he's all gone, I don't even know what happened to him, but I left him alone, and I sent an apology letter all of my videos except for two, which are my very first YouTube videos. Very first. That's me ranting about some guy. So, when I started making ASMR, I started getting, you know, a couple subscribers, nothing dramatic. I already had subscribers from the G4T video. So, people started commenting on my channel. And every once in a while you'd get something negative, but the amount of people who commented nice things really put me back into reality because I was like, this is incredible. These people think that I'm helping them for some reason. And then I started, you know, making more ASMR videos, but not many. It turns out that I stopped making videos to <clears throat> take a little bit of time to myself because I was very depressed at the time, you know, I was swamped with a new baby, you know, I had my son and my daughter, and then one day I got back on the internet and I had 3,000 subscribers. As I started doing ASMR, the amount of support that everybody started giving me was incredible. I live in a small town full of drug addicts and hicks. I 
that's not a racist thing. It's just they're very biased, very racist. It's terrible. No compassion, no love. And a lot of people in my town don't like me. I have videos explaining why. I don't know why some people don't like me. They really don't have a reason, but they tell me all the time. Used to, not anymore. So, finally, the support that I got from my YouTube channel was just, I figured it out. I've never in my life had so many people like you guys. I know this is going to get cheesy here in a minute, so let me just take a hit of this vape and get real. <laughs> let me fix this. I hate fabric, but this pillow, I, can, I could do this all day. Whenever I got really depressed, I would go on my YouTube channel, which I still do to this day, but I'm talking how it led up to this. I would get on my channel every single day and in the morning times, which I still do, and I would read all of your comments and I started getting messages on the side, like on Facebook and things like that, from people who would tell me that I've saved their lives. And to be honest, I don't to this day, I think there's no way I've made such an impact. There's no way. But then more started coming in. And more. And more. And more messages. And I was just in awe. So I started making more videos. And more videos came, more comments. And then that came me just clinging to YouTube. I realized I could start making a little bit of money when I hit 3,000, or 4,500, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, so I signed up for Google AdSense and started making just a wee bit of money. Um, it's from whenever you click my ads, I'll get revenue from that. Like, maybe like two cents an ad or something like that, but... Now, there is one reason, one very big reason why I clicked so hard. One day I will get into that, I promise you guys. I tell this a lot, that there is a situation in my life that I cannot talk about right now. And there is a reason I was so adamant about this year's Christmas for my children. And I will talk to you guys about that someday. Nothing you're missing out on, but <laughs> still. So, after that, you know, like I said, the more negativity in my hometown came more positivity on my channel. And then people from my hometown even started watching my channel and I started making more friends. People would lose their negative opinions on me and give me a chance to talk. Humans, us humans, don't really listen often. It takes a lot for us to really care about other people's problems. And that's one thing I learned growing up is you should really care about what other people talk to you about. Now that goes with energy and that goes with, you know, whenever somebody spills out all their negativity on you and then you go home feeling sad, it's because they dumped their negative energy off of you. But there's a way to prevent that. Maybe I'll make a video about that. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I never f fuck, <laughs> freaking found something that I was good at ever in my life. I went through my life for 25 years, 24, I'm 25, but you know what I mean, adding years, not having any idea what I was here to do, you know? And I'm not saying for the rest of my life I'm going to be doing ASMR, but I'm telling you right now, anything that I can involve myself with, with ASMR, I'm going to do it. Because it's so easy to say things like, oh, you you made me happy today, you changed my life, you're a great person. It's so easy, I say it to so many people, but the thing is, I mean it. Like, I'm being cheesy right now, I know, but... I may seem like I'm a little bit tired right now, I do want to point that out. And that's because... Um, whenever I dose in the morning, I'm on 40 milligrams of methadone. I started off 
or I was the highest I was ever at was 160 and now I'm down to 40 I'm really proud of myself for getting that far and that's another thing I want to point out is being proud I've never been proud of myself for anything in my life even the birth of my kids because I was so ashamed that I brought them into a world so bad but it was you guys I no, I don't regret my children what I'm saying is I I'm ashamed that I brought them into the, the shit the crappy world that we live in like my kids are my biggest accomplishment accomplishment in life they are my world but I just feel so bad I was like I'm not proud of myself for this they're gonna suffer for the rest of their lives with the economy and Trump but yeah so I'm very proud of them you get it with my channel I've just never been proud of myself for anything and today we've reached 50,000 people on my channel you guys you guys with me like we are together we are a family I talk to all of you guys if I can't respond all the time I'm not ignoring you like I will go on before bed every night and respond to as many comments as I can and I can say for the first time in my fucking life that I am proud of us not just me I mean it like that feeling of being proud not just me but you like you guys are the reason that I'm here today smiling the way I am I suffer so bad from depression my god like you know I've gotten better with it and I've learned how to control it that and my anxiety ever since my dad died excuse me I like feel like I'm gonna burp for like 40 minutes now and excuse me y'all that's so gross okay um now that I have you guys and you know my kids make me smile all the time you, you but I'm talking about like my business life and feeling like I'm never gonna amount to anything and I found you guys and I feel so fucking good about where my life is going right now with my channel I am so thankful for you guys I will do anything for you guys you guys have saved my life my Christmas you've made me be a better person you've made me be a better mother you've made me be a better everything and I feel even though I do suffer sometimes you know everybody lets that depression get to them but overall you guys have made my life and I wanted to celebrate that today and just tell you how I didn't have a very good life growing up I mean things were good like my childhood was amazing even though my parents didn't have money but my adolescence and me turning into a teen was just shit I have body dysmorphia to a very severe extreme there's just so much negative shit that like I could tell you guys about but I just want to tell you that I'm proud and I'm so thankful and like I said take my story as an example and use it to your advantage don't ever become or live like so many of you guys tell me you're like 13 14 live your life as a teenager be happy you have all your life to party and it's so easy to say like back then people would tell me that and I'm like I want to do it now screw you guys no 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 so I love you guys I just wanted to talk to you guys about I'm gonna put the title still as an ASMR celebration but I'm kind of gonna put it as like a story time and if you guys would like to see a video specifically dedicated to this pillow right here without me talking and babbling so fucking much I will do that happily I'll do anything for you guys I'm it's so easy to say it like I said but I'm gonna show it I plan on making so much better videos and so much just so much everything because this is my life this is my job I love doing this I've never thought I'd find anything I was good at let alone doing it doing something I love and I love this and I love you guys so happy 50,000 everybody I'm just in awe I know I, I, this is cringeworthy somebody put this on a fucking cringe channel like <laughs> so I'm gonna end off here and just remind you guys that I love you with all that I am I tell my kids about you guys all the time you've seen the videos some of you I have um, my vlogs and I'll be like say hi YouTube and they'll be like hi tube <laughs> so
fifty thousand you guys.